inspires great teaching and learning and amplifies thinking and doing. This is in line with the common core standards and 21st century skills that students will need to acquire. Technology opens and creates new learning experiences. It opens minds and has allowed students and teachers to create, collaborate, and problem solve. It has inspired creative assessments that provide immediate feedback. Technology has allowed for getting away from the paper-based assignments, worksheets, and messages that get lost in the black hole of the backpack. Students are given rubrics based on specific content and they are encouraged to collaborate, problem solve, and create lessons to teach each other specific content. I will start with introducing a lesson and possibly do a wet lab and have students create specific lessons using various applications to complement the lesson and further each other's understanding of the content. It might be a lesson on anatomy, genetics, biological molecules, or cell structure. They can use a cell application to further dive into the inner parts of a cell to get a three-dimensional view to explore deeper interactions in the cell. Over time, I have found that even students who have struggled with academics and test taking in the past are now finding success using a whole new way of learning that promotes engagement, thinking, collaboration, and immediate feedback. Yesterday in class, students used the molecules application to view organic molecules af after successfully building them. The application gave them another view of the molecules. A student with autism in the class was able to stay engaged, work with others, and successfully complete the lesson. He actually wanted to stay longer after the bell rang to continue using the technology. I have successfully used several applications and technology tools in my classroom, including Enmodo which is an online networking application set up for a classroom. It allows for collaboration, posting assignments, students can take tests on it, and teachers can even poll students conducting formative assessments. I have been using Remind 101 with students and parents. This sends out classroom reminders for tests, assignments, lesson links, field trips. Students love it and even miss it when I don't send out a reminder for them. It has helped them successfully keep up with the work and expectations of the course. Poll Everywhere has been a, another tool used for many quick formative assessments uh, or as an exit ticket. Students have made fun content-based podcasts and minicasts on Podomatic. Quizlet and Quizard have been used to make flashcards and for studying. For presenting their lessons, Students have used EduCreation, Story Creator, Screen Chomp, and created comic strips using Comic Puppet. Various content tools they have used include applications on anatomy, the skeletal system, genetics, Punnett squares, enzymes, molecules, and cells. There are many, many more, and even better ones being created all the time. I use sites like Verizon Th Thinkfinity, to stay on top of current applications and tools. Biograph is another simulation tool that uses complex systems that allow students to manipulate organisms and their environment and view the immediate effects on biological events that might otherwise take years to see. Overall, teaching and learning using technology has created a new level of engagement, inspiration, and energy for me and my students. For this reason, I have dedicated myself to opening minds by creating new learning experiences and finding innovative ways to help teachers teach and students learn. I think that with the technology, we get to experience something new, not something we do in every single one of our classes all day long. So when we get to the class, we're a little bit more excited. My favorite one would be using the iPad with the app EduCreations because you can actually create like a whole lesson plan but you can actually see what like you're pointing to and talk about and like draw a diagram instead of just like reading a textbook versus like just seeing it.